why it's so important for female runners to have their self-defense tool already in hand if possible or accessible in one second or less. A military age male can cover 21 feet in around one and a half seconds. As a point of reference, a minivan on average at least is between 16 and 18 feet in length. So just a few feet longer than the average minivan is what 21 feet looks like. So if you're out on a run and you see someone suddenly charging towards you, or maybe you're going across an empty parking lot, and the same thing, someone's coming straight at you. In the perfect world, as long as they're at least 21 feet away, you have one and a half seconds in which to respond. Except you probably won't have one and a half seconds, and there's a couple of reasons for this. First of which, a predator is going to utilize their environment the best they can to be as close to their intended target as they can get before launching the sprint. So you're probably gonna have considerably less than 21 feet. In addition, there is the human factor. The bad guy gets to choose the, the what, the when, the where. We, as the recipients of the nefarious behavior, are already behind the action-reaction power curve. In other words, this has to already begin for us to then have to figure out how we're going to respond. And in that response comes a whole bunch of different challenges. The first of which is the cognitive decision-making process. It takes a little bit of time to assess what we think is going on. And your brain would prefer it if what it is seeing is harmless. So it first tries to find logical and least threatening explanations for what is transpiring. So perhaps the first explanation it comes up with is, oh, this is just one of my mates playing silly buggers. They're just trying to scare me. Or perhaps you're looking at this individual. They don't fit a preconceived idea in your mind about what a murderer looks like. And so... Perhaps you jump to the conclusion that, well, maybe they're in trouble and they're coming to you speedily for help. You would be bloody amazed at what explanation your brain will provide in an attempt to not have to admit that what it is seeing is all bad news. Or perhaps you don't think anything at all. The person is coming at you so quickly that you just freeze. What all of this ultimately boils down to is you're going to have significantly less time to respond than you think which is why it is so bloody important that you already have what you are going to do to stop this individual already in your hand. Because if whatever you carry for self-defense is in a pocket, you're not going to have anywhere near the time necessary to grab it. You're not going to even have time to try and dial for help. And even if you do dial for help, you now have to wait for help to show up. If this is already in your hand, the second you get through the cognitive decision-making process, the freeze, the speed at which this person is coming towards you, you can punch this out and literally smack them in the face with a hot sauce. You have provided a mechanism through which to stop whatever their nefarious plan was. And you've done it in the shortest amount of time possible.